welcome, this is Steve at OpenBOM, and I'd like to introduce you to the December 2020 release of OpenBOM for Autodesk Fusion 360. There's a couple of really cool additions here, and I'd like to introduce you to both of them in this video. The first one is the ability to automatically uh, get the next part number um, in OpenBOM and assign it to a Fusion item in the BOM. And then the second thing is the ability to get description and, and name and part number and send them back to Fusion and uh, populate those fields in your Fusion design like, uh, like I'm looking at right now. So it's kind of a two-step process. I want to start by, I want to start over here in, in OpenBOM and in, in our catalog, in our Fusion 360 catalog. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into OpenBOM. I'm going to open my Fusion 360 catalog um, if it exists. If it doesn't, go ahead and, and, and uh, create a bomb in Fusion. We'll automatically generate it for you. Um, and once, I, once I'm in that Fusion 360 catalog, I want to click on this setting up here that says Part Number Setup. What I'm doing right now is I'm configuring OpenBOM to automatically give me the next part number. So you can see here that I, I provide a prefix. In my example here, I've got a range of uh, 100 to 9,000. I'm incrementing by five. And then, uh, and then I've got a suffix and a separator. So what I've done is I've set up my part number sequencing. And I want to demonstrate that to you right now. Kind of watch up here in this corner. I'm going to use the add item uh, command. And you see as I do that, the next item comes in with the incremented part number. So here I'm get doing 100, 105, 110, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those from this catalog. Remove those items. So we've set this catalog up. There might be other stuff in the catalog that doesn't concern me right now, but I've set the catalog up with automatic numbering. Okay, I'm going to go back to Fusion now. I've signed into Fusion. I noticed right away that there's a new icon up on my tool, my toolbar. We're going to use that in a moment. That brings data back to Fusion. But I want to take a look first at this model. And if you're like me, you just modeled this in Fusion and you've got a, a product tr structure tree over here. But every one of your items, if you're, if you're like me, um, its properties are set as follows. You've got part name, because you named the part when you created it. You probably haven't taken time to assign part number or description. I know as when I'm modeling things, I don't do that. I build my structure, I build my design, and my part number and description, most of the time, I don't get, uh, I don't get them completed. But I'm going to show you an easy way to fill those in now, rather than visiting each part by part in Fusion. Let's just go ahead and build a multi-level build material using OpenBOM. So that message there told us that we're going to put our items into our, uh, our, our Fusion items uh, catalog, and then we're going to build a BOM <clears throat> uh, for this uh, camera mount. And here we go. Okay, so we have... Um, OpenBOM is bringing in the structure according to the tree, creating the, uh, creating the images. And what we do, what OpenBOM does, is if there is no part number assigned, we assign the value of name to part number. So as you go through my design here, you can see that all of my parts have probably got, for part number, they probably got the name. That's probably not what I want but at least it's something uh, in the part number field. But I also, you can see that we didn't bring in any description and, uh, and I'd like to, to uh, kind of start to improve this, um, this bomb using my company's part numbering, uh, using my company's part numbering sequence that we just set up. So let's go, let's start with this first one. We're gonna look at this screw. I'm gonna pull up this item information panel over here, which is that little circle. And I'm going to see that there's a, a part number field here. I'm going to click the pencil next to edit part number. And I'm going to get a place where I can type in a new part number. Or if I've set up my catalog correctly, um, I'll get this little swoosh that says get the next available part number. So I just click that. There it is. I just got FP0100. That was my next part number. And I'm going to throw a value in here for a description. You know, I could be more creative on that and I save it. Okay, so now I've got a, I got a part number, I've got a description. Let's go do this on the next one. Um, that part number I know is just name. I'm gonna click this again. Okay, great, now I get 105. And uh, this one here is, a, is another one to screw. And again, and you would probably wanna be more creative. 
And I just worked my way down the list and uh, you know, systematically grabbing the next number for each one and working my way through it. And you can see I'm gonna work down this list and uh, um, OpenBOM is automatically, you know, will automatically assign the next part number based on our setup. Okay, so I've gone through it, I've done that. Um, I, I see right here that, um, let's, take, let's do one last item here. Let's do this camera thread adapter. And because uh, we're gonna watch that on the screen, let's go ahead and set this up. I'm gonna say, give me the next part number. Looks like it's gonna be 115 and camera thread adapter. Okay. So now let's take a look at the, at our, at our, um, at our bomb and, and our structure up here. So let's go look at our, at this Torx head part. We see that it still has no part number and no description, but we have assigned part number description using uh, using uh, open bomb. So once we kind of get some work done here, we're going to go ahead and bring in those changes from open bomb back to fusion. And this is a, both these items are the new releases uh, in December. Here. I'm going to choose the bomb. I want to bring that in from I could have multiple ones. And I'm going to say continue and let's watch what happens up here. Looks like it tells us we updated seven components. Let's go look at the properties here and we see now we have part number and a description. And by the way, I could have also done the same thing with, uh, with the name. So let's just, to close on this, let's go down here and do one more thing. This camera ball assembly. I wanna show you how you can actually change the names, uh, the fusion names for that. Let's grab a part number for that. We got the next one. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna type that ball rename. And we're going to bring that back and you can see how as you as you do this a few times you can start quickly making those updates here and you'll see that that now we've now changed the name of that actually infusion from open bomb so to uh, to recap what we did is we built a uh, we we built a structure here uh, in fusion we created a multi-level bill of material once we were in that bill of material, we, and I'll open it for you here, we used a command called, uh, uh, we used the item master panel up here. We pulled that open, we set the part number, we set description, we changed name, we saved it, and then finally we used the command up here to send those properties back to Fusion. And now we have a really nice updated uh, Fusion design that will have all of the properties for each one of the parts filled in. So I hope you find that useful. Um, we'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com.